Hello, my name is uh, Todd Davidson. I'm the manager at the Princeton British Columbia Museum. And uh, I'd like to introduce to you today our new collections access website, which we have been working on for um, many months now. Uh, it's been quite a while in developing this. It, it ended up being a lot larger than we'd hoped for. It's been uh, uh, very successful. We're very happy with the way this thing has turned out. Uh, first of all, of course, we must thank the uh, Community Services Recovery Fund uh, with the uh, Red Cross and the uh, United Way and, of course, the Community Foundations of Canada and uh, all of which were uh, uh, sponsored by or, or the, the money came from the uh, federal government, Government of Canada. Thank you very much for that. Uh, couldn't possibly have happened without that. Uh, now, that being said, uh, this idea came about when uh, the new Heritage Burnaby website came online. Uh, I had a look at that and I thought it was absolutely wonderful. And I thought, wow, if we could only do something like that ourselves. And uh, this, of course, is uh, the whole reason for having something like this, of course, was uh, emphasized when uh, COVID came along and museums had to close their doors for a period of time. Uh, we were very fortunate through that period. We were not closed for very long, uh, but some museums were affected very, very negatively by uh, COVID and it became very important uh, clear that museums had to pivot and be more versatile and um, this was part of uh, the response if you will the greater response we <clears throat> we did a few things at the time to uh, take our services to the public and it worked out fairly well but this is an extension of that now uh, with this website uh, the vast majority of our collection is there to be seen remotely uh, it's not a hundred percent comprehensive that it's not uh, steeped in details the way some collections access sites are uh, we have a collections management system which is not public facing that's where all the details are this is just an overview of what we have uh, and of course uh, the biggest part of it is the uh, fact that we are hosting the uh, Similkami News Leader uh, newspaper collection. We have the entire collection from beginning to end. <clears throat> and we are hosting it and presenting it as part of this website. It's a phenomenal resource. And we'll give you a look at that in a minute. And a lot of the other things that we have. We better get going here because there's an awful lot to look at. So I'm going to get rid of my ugly mug and we'll go straight into the desktop so this is the way it looks uh, princetonbcmuseum.com and we have 12 primary buttons on the home page uh, that you uh, would make your uh, most significant selections from oh we've got some disclaimers we've got some credits and there's a donate button down the bottom if you feel like helping us out. Um, there's a First Nations section which uh, we will be working with the Upper Similkameen Indian Band and the Lower Similkameen Indian Band to uh, finesse and make more appropriate. We have some photographs, we need more. We have some artifacts, there's an awful lot of work to be done here. Uh, this uh, button on the left uh, takes you through our museum exhibit and the links, of course, uh, would provide some handy uh, research links with a focus on the First Nations concerns. Uh, and again, uh, let's just go back home for a minute. The search page or the search uh, function uh, is your best friend here. If you are looking for something specific, use the search facility it works like a charm um, and uh, one thing we'll do right away here is uh, let's just pull up our 
let's just pull this up here and we'll just uh, illustrate the fact that uh, we can instantly translate uh, these pages into um, a variety of languages so when you uh, <clears throat> yeah we can uh, well, it's a pretty versatile site here so uh, the search of course uh, is limited by the fact that uh, most of the material is in English so there's limitations to that but uh, as much as possible we have created a uh, versatile site that way uh, people the people button is um, uh, basically mini biographies uh, so if you click on uh, the um, surname it's in surname order and uh, uh, any particular uh, record that you would happen to pull up uh, would have uh, more or less information uh, depending upon what we know about that particular person. And, um, right, we're going to be improving this. We will be adding pictures of people as we get them and that is a separate project for us uh, I'd like to point out also here there's a jump um, a, a, a jump list here uh, to take you between the various functions so let's just go back home for a minute here so that's the people um, artifacts artifacts is huge we've got something like 4,000 artifacts here 288 pages of artifacts and um, when you open up a uh, particular record uh, here we have a molding plane uh, we're not giving tons of information here this is just the public facing introduction overview to our collection so uh, we, in most cases, have more information than is uh, presented here. Uh, but with every page, we are encouraging our um, guests to make comments. If they know something about this item or this person or this um, whatever it is, please uh, let us know. And in that way, we'll be able to be a little bit like Wikipedia and we'll get better and better as we go. Let's go home and take a look at the news, well, newspapers. As a matter of fact, it's not just the news leader. Uh, what we've got here is five buttons to five different local historical newspapers. Uh, we are only hosting the Sunokami news leader. Uh, these other ones are links out to other resources in this case you're going to go to the UBC library uh, open collection BC historical newspapers site and this is a uh, the smoking star is our local newspaper started in 1900 uh, we are still UBC is still digitizing it this has been a project that we've been working with them on and they are up to 1944 uh, this will be completely digitized up to um, 1953 by summer 2024 and we're very happy about that the news leader this is the gem so uh, here is a description of uh, how Don Johnson and later George Eliot uh, looked after this local newspaper and we have the complete collection from 1998 all the way through to 2016 when the newspaper ceased being published and every edition is here uh, ready to go and click on it boom it opens a PDF and it takes a minute because we're loading about 28 pages of the newspaper here uh, so it just takes a little minute to load that and ah uh, delay 
Well, this is abnormal. Normally it's pretty quick. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. Everything. You can read every bit of this as as clearly as if it was in your hands. Um, right down to the TV guide, which is in here. And let's just get to that. I mean, without even ex uh, expanding the page, which of course you can do, simply control plus or control minus, you can make it bigger or smaller. You can read this. And what's really cool about it is this is all indexed. So, you know, if we take a little word like, okay, peep, um, where would we find that? Um, let's just go and do a search. Let's just have a little fun here. Let's just search for the word peep. All right. Do a search. And boom, there's our results. And we got a few. Well, let's take a look at this one here. 2005-0503. Uh, oops, okay. So that's actually going to give us the entire newspaper. Let's take a look at... Um, Oh, we got 57, 57 pages of results. How about that? Amazing. Okay, here's a good one. Um, this is just page 11 of the newspaper, so let's have a peek at that. And, yep, son of a gun, it is the um, TV Guide. Now, to, to make it easier, if you want to find it on this page, if you just do a Control-F and put in the word again, then it'll highlight where it is right down here okay so we were not able to build that function in but that gives you an indication of how well indexed and searchable uh, this newspaper is it's absolutely phenomenal uh, yeah so we'll just go back to newspapers and uh, hmm bit of a delay going there anyway <clears throat> uh, so and, and these other ones there's actually more newspapers uh, linked in this uh, wonderful site here let's go back home I'll get to that a little bit later uh, natural history at the moment uh, this is a bit of a placeholder what we have here at the moment is simply a look at um, our current displays with some historical information. Uh, in the future, we will have uh, our, our fossils and perhaps even some of the minerals listed here in the same way as we have uh, the artifacts and some various other things. Video, uh, go on to the video tab and we've uh, segregated, pardon me, we've um, divided this into several different uh, buttons. So the interpretive shots it should be shorts <laughs> I have to fix that so these are little interpretive shorts that we have made so far uh, we've got a whole bunch more of these that are that are in the can that just need a little bit more editing before we could release them and so these are really popular they're only two or three minutes long just a quick look at some of these subjects and these are all on YouTube and uh, these are just a link to the YouTube site uh, PDAMS interviews these are indeed uh, the start of a collection of uh, visual histories that we're working on again we've got another three or four of these that are in the can that need editing before we could release them uh, these productions are not necessarily people interviews they are uh, it, uh, videos we have produced on various subjects and these tend to be a little bit longer or a little bit more specific presentations we were fortunate enough this year to host the um, uh, British Columbia Heritage uh, Historical Federation's conference and uh, many of these um, presentations came from there uh, there will be more and then the last one of course is links so um links i've i'm sort of addicted to 
the National Film Board's links, and so I created a uh, uh, page of my favorite historical National Film Board um, videos, and you can learn a tremendous amount about our Canadian heritage through these films. And the BC Historical Federation, of course, this is, um, if you uh, take this over to their site, uh, you have the opportunity to get onto all of their videos that they have, some of which are on our other page. Uh, we'll put more links in here as we find them. Again, let's go home and videos, audio, um, we have, I believe the number is 63 oral histories that we have uh, edited and finessed and put up on YouTube again. Uh, these uh, will link you to those resources. These were done by uh, several people uh, and they span all different decades. And of course, the subject matter is all uh, very different. A phenomenal resource if you have the time to take advantage of it. Um, maps. So we have close to 900 maps in our collection. And <clears throat> this is and this is a, a, a finding aid, essentially. We've categorized them a little bit, and within each category, um, obviously I hit a blank one, how about that? Okay, within each category we have a listing of the maps, and the uh, vicinity, and the or location rather, and the subject matter. Um, so this is a finding aid largely. Uh, we will be digitizing some of these, and uh, some of the ones that we have digitized are in the miscellaneous uh, tab. And uh, there's some beautiful ones here. Uh, this is a gorgeous one right here, this 1886 um, map from the Granite Creek Manual. And of course, you can, uh, you can zoom right in on these things. You know, it's, it's wonderful. So uh, that that is a wonderful resource. Um, let's go to let's go back home again and look at um, photographs. Wow! So this one is super cool, and uh, uh, here's a, uh, a photograph of the steam turbine, steam powered turbine uh, within the uh, coal fire generation station uh, for the Granby mine and, and also for the town of Princeton for a period of time. Uh, you can click on this and it'll open up in a light box. Uh, we are not, uh, we are not uh, putting out um, high definition photographs on this resource. Uh, they are available through us but we want to keep the bandwidth down a little bit so they're just uh, a good definition. Okay, uh, all of these pages have comment boxes, so we're hoping to be a little like Wikipedia here and uh, uh, improve with uh, uh, with input from our our guests, from our visitors. There's approximately 3,100 photographs here at the moment. 189 pages. Um, uh, we have a lot more. Uh, this is one section that we would uh, very much like to expand. Uh, so this this is a real this is a real treat. Uh, the photographs are great. Uh, they're very clear, very good quality, and there's lots to be learned from the photographs. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back home. Photographs. Lots and lots of them. And okay, so links. Uh, these are links to all kinds of things. 
uh, the uh, museum collection online with the ARCA database, um, a board and grid map for the archaeologists, uh, geographical names. If you want to check how high the river is at this particular moment, you can go to the BC River Forecast Center. Uh, here's a lovely map of all of the Hudson's Bay Company resources through history in Western Canada and the United States. Uh, the Discover Princeton website, a document about our mining history, uh, the Geogratis um, product index. This helps you with our, this is a map finder. This is a finder for the finder, basically. Um, you'll have to try it and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Tons of links, all kinds of different things, really handy stuff, and um, more to come as we find more. Let's go home again. So then artworks, uh, pretty straightforward, and we don't have a lot here. And, uh, you know, anything that's got a frame is considered art to us, and we don't have a lot of sculptures or various other media. But what we have is here. And let's jump to uh, uh, what haven't we looked at? Oh, literature. Okay, we'll jump to literature. And this one's pretty cool too because uh, first of all, it shows you all of the books that we have in our library. Uh, we will eventually take pictures of the covers and substitute those for this placeholder. But it does give you an idea of everything that we have a, a physical copy of in our library. Um, this is a work in progress. There's a lot more that we have that's not here yet. Uh, hosted literature. Uh, so these are things that we are offering up to the public. We have some books that we can uh, and and documents etc that we can offer the public currently and we definitely want to expand that we do have to get the rights before we can do it um, journals there's some really cool stuff in the journals uh, this one the town site lots that's all of the lots from 1900 and who they were initially sold to for how much and very cool information. The French is, uh, they were general merchants, so there's, you know, eggs and ladders and pipe valves and everything else and who they were sold to and how much going way back, going way back. This is 1917, 1901. You know, this is really cool stuff. So it's all been digitized and it's offered up here uh, for anyone to look at. Um, memoirs. Couple of really cool stories, <clears throat> collections. Um, yeah, the Batstone Papers, very interesting stories, documents. Princeton Census, um, list of electors. This is one that we produce here, God Gold. Uh, gold God and glory. <laughs> this is a document we produced ourselves. Um, yeah, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Have we missed anything? I think we may be at the end here. Thank goodness, I'm sure you're saying. Yes, okay. Um, so that's where we're at right now. And um, it will change. We'll add stuff to it. There's probably some stuff we'll have to take out as well. And we will refine the website. But I just think it's such a wonderful, wonderful resource. We're very happy to provide this to not only the people of Princeton, but obviously the larger audience. And we want to thank again the uh, folks that uh, paid for it. And uh, obviously the uh, town of Princeton for their continuing support of the museum. And I guess that's about it for now. Thank you very much.